Remote pilot lesson, effects of weather on small unmanned aircraft systems. Going to go through the information that comes from the FAA study guide for remote pilot small unmanned aircraft systems. I'm going to give you some keys of what the uh, bottom line that they're going to be, what they're going to be saying and what the information we're going to go through. Basically, as temperature goes up, performance of your aircraft decreases. As humidity goes up, performance of your aircraft decreases. As you go up in altitude, performance of your aircraft decreases. Hopefully this will make more sense when we get to the end. We'll go through it, we'll sum it up, and then if you have any questions, you can put them down below, and we can always help you get through this. So we're gonna go ahead and start rolling through this. Density altitude. The more appropriate term for correlating aerodynamic performance in the non-standard atmosphere is density altitude, the altitude in the standard atmosphere corresponding to a particular value of air density. As the density of the air increases, which it comes out as lower density altitude, aircraft performance increases. Okay, so as the air density increases, you have lower density altitude, performance increases, which almost sounds contradictory to what I just told you in the beginning, but trust me, it makes sense once you get to the end of this. Conversely, as air density decreases, higher density altitude, aircraft performance decreases. A decrease in air density means a high density altitude. An increase in air density means a lower density altitude. Density altitude has a direct effect on aircraft performance. Air density is affected by changes in altitude, temperature, and humidity, which is what I mentioned in the beginning. High density altitude refers to thin air while low density altitude refers to dense air. The conditions that result in a high density altitude are high elevations, low atmospheric pressures, high temperatures, high humidity, or some combination of these factors together. Lower elevations, high atmospheric pressure, low temperatures, and low humidity are more indicative of low density altitude. Effects of pressure on density. Since air is a gas, it can be compressed or expanded. When air is compressed, a greater amount of air can occupy a given volume. Conversely, when pressure on a given volume of air is decreased, the air expands and occupies a greater space. That is, the original column of air at a lower pressure contains a smaller mass of air. In other words, the density is decreased. In fact, density is directly proportional to pressure. If the pressure is doubled, the density is doubled. And if the pressure is lowered, so is the density. This statement is true only at a constant temperature. Effects of temperature on density. Increasing the temperature of a substance decreases its density. Conversely, decreasing the temperature increases the density. Thus, the density of air varies inversely with temperature. This statement is true only at a constant pressure. Effects of pressure on density. In the atmosphere, both temperature and pressure decrease with altitude and have conflicting effects upon density. However, the fairly rapid drop in pressure as altitude is increased usually has the dominant effect. Hence, pilots can expect the density altitude to decrease with altitude. The preceding paragraphs are based on the presupposition of perfectly dry air. In reality, it is never completely dry. The small amount of water vapor suspended in the atmosphere may be ne negligible under certain conditions, but in other conditions, humidity may become an important factor in the performance of an aircraft. Water vapor is lighter than air. Consequently, moist air is lighter than dry air. Therefore, as the water content of the air increases, the air becomes less dense, increasing density altitude and decreasing performance. It is the lightest or least dense when, in a, in a given set of conditions, it contains the maximum amount of water vapor. Humidity, also called relative humidity, refers to the amount of water vapor contained in the atmosphere and is expressed as a percentage of the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold. This amount varies with the temperature. Warm air can hold more water vapor, while colder air can hold less. Perfectly dry air that contains no water vapor has a relative humidity of 
while saturated air that cannot hold any more water or vapor has a relative humidity of 100%. Humidity alone is usually not considered an essential factor in calculating density altitude and aircraft performance. However, it does contribute. So, sounds like a lot when you get reading through it. Seems like some things are even almost contradicting each other. Contradicting each other. Go through it again a time or two if you need to. If it still doesn't make sense, we can always come back, like I said, and help you try to work through this. The bottom line, if you relate to the fact that your small unmanned aircraft as the temperature goes up, performance is not going to be as good. As your altitude goes up, performance is not going to be good. As the air becomes more moist, your performance is going to go down. So when you have those three things, performance is going to be bad. Put them together, it's going to get even worse. So again, go through it if you need to. Hopefully it makes sense. Some of you probably grasp it. Others might be going, what in the heck did he just say? So remember, as temperature goes up, performance comes down. As moisture levels go up, performance comes down, and as you go up in altitude, performance goes down. If you remember those three things, you're on the right path. So any questions, put them down below, and we'll see you in the next video.